Face damaged parts. Find regulator processor and optical unit. Looks down and says, like, oh, no hard feelings, buddy. I understand. We keep going, though. Incompatible. It's a good thing how it's a, it's a good thing all his parts are modular and you can just like pop them off and on. Doesn't even have to go to the Apple store. Audio processor functional but incompatible. Audio processor functional and compatible. What it was it just in his hand? I thought we were gonna like take his ear and swap it with our ear or something. Ah, oh, that'll make you pop your ears. Dude, all those horrific... Oh wow, all those horrific noises were just in his head from the errors? That's crazy. Pump regulator. It's been a while since I played Neverwinter Nights. Oh, I think I still need to fix my eye. I'll bring this up. Yeah. Place damage parts, yeah. Okay, I, fi I figured. Uh, if I, I bet if I had fixed my eye first, I would have been able to scan the environment for the other two. a match for us. Functional eye. Really? His eye looks messed up. Hello. I'm an AK-700 android. I was designed to serve you. What can I do for you? I Hello. About this. I'm an AK-700 android. I was designed to serve you. My program has detected an anomaly. Please contact the nearest CyberLife Maintenance Center.
Dude, we, we just made like Frank the Frankenstein of the story. Use your sky scale. <laughs> Wait, he doesn't have the white patch around his face now. Dude, imagine the people that have to like work at that site each night and they're just like watching all these things try to escape constantly. The circle thing? Is he gonna rip off the circle thing? So he just made it so it's not obvious he's a robot. Flesh is self-healing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Batman. <laughs> Marcus came back from the bed. Oh. oh, I didn't see the date. Find Amanda. Okay. It's about 10 a.m. I just missed the date. Enjoying it so far? Yes. Are you Amanda? Hello, Amanda. Connor, it's good to see you. Congratulations, Connor. Finding that deviant was far from easy. And the way you interrogated it was very clever. Yes, I'm amazing. You've been remarkably efficient, Connor. Thank you, Amanda. We've asked the DPD to transfer it to us for further study. It may teach us something about what happened. The interrogation seemed... challenging. What did you think of the deviant? It showed signs of PTSD after being abused by its owner. As if its original program had been completely replaced by new instructions. This Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the deviancy case. What do you make of him? I think he's irritable and socially challenged. <laughs> but I also think he used to be a good detective. 
He's an intriguing character. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? I will adapt to his personality. It is in the best interest of the investigation that I avoid conflict like and try to accommodate his psychology. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me, Amanda. Hurry, Connor. There's little time. You are remarkably efficient at whiplashing suspects with questions. <laughs> Can I help you? I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? Yes. Oh, I didn't see her Lieutenant thing Anderson the hair. hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. Bing, 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 bing. You might be in shock. Just... Tensions in the Arctic have reached a new level. A Russian carrier and an American patrol. Several warning shots were exchanged, apparently with no damage or casualties to either side. Detective Reed, the Minister for Defense, Dennis Riggs, Brown, spoken of intolerable provocation that cannot go unanswered. Detroit Today, the three laws of robotic parenting. Anderson. So far, there has been no response. Quest complete. I'm amazing. Excuse me. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. If we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. Thanks. <laughs> He's like, oh my god. Explore new office. Hi, honey. You okay? Listen. I couldn't read the instructions because they were off the screen. Knights of the Black Death, Dark Heavy Metal, <laughs> released in 2021. Call Hank Anderson. Hi, this is Hank. Not here at the moment. You can leave a message if that's what turns you on, but don't expect me to call back. <laughs> Beep. Whatever. He has a How's My Driving sticker there? Why? Anti-Android slogans. Use your brain, not your Android. Android free space. <laughs> Donuts! <laughs> Stereotype. Coffee cup. Dead bonsai, Japanese maple. I think it needed to be watered a year ago. Matches from Jimmy's bar. Hairs from a Saint Bernard dog. Red Ice Task Force, responsible for the Red Ice, ne Red Ice Network dismantle of 2028. Is Anderson in here? I can't tell.
Research Anderson. Detroit police dismantle a network of red-eyes dealers. More than 50 arrests throughout the country. Detroit's finest has dealt a massive blow to the city's growing red-eyes epidemic with a number of high-profile dealers and suppliers now behind bars and narcotics seized with a street value of uh, $500,000. Detective Hank Anderson, young but hugely talented detective, is said to have been instrumental in its operation, which took months of planning. The DA described the work of Detective Anderson and his colleagues as model investigative police work. Becoming the youngest lieutenant on the Detroit Police Force, Lieutenant, lieutenant Hank Anderson was uh, among... Wait, I just saw his, fa his face down there. Isn't that the guy from uh, Starship Troopers? He got stabbed in the hand. Uh, among the most decorated detect 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 detectives in DPD's recent history, securing a number of high-profile arrests and serving as an integral member of the force. Captain Fowler said the promotion was long overdue, describing Anderson as among the most talented police I've ever worked with. The new lieutenant is expected to rise quickly through the ranks of the department and is already being tipped as a future commissioner. Nearly a ton of red ice discovered in the hold of a boat after a long investigation conducted by Lieutenant Anderson of the Detroit Police Force. Uh, basketball. 90% cotton, 10% polyester. Decorated officer. It's good to see you again, Lieutenant. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Hank! In my office! I just got here, man. Explore police station. Listen to briefing. every day we've always had isolated incidents old ladies losing their android maids and that kind of crap but now we're getting reports of assaults and even homicide like that guy last night this isn't just cyber life's problem anymore it's now a criminal investigation and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan i want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link why me why do i gotta be the one to deal with this shit <laughs> I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. Everybody's overloaded. <laughs> I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you let me hold in the bag. Cyberlife's I like to imagine that I'm just like this against the glass looking into the room the whole time like a total creep. Over this android to help with the investigation. <laughs> it's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way. I don't need a partner and certainly not this plastic prick. Hank, you are seriously starting to piss me off. You are a police lieutenant. You are supposed to do what I say and shut your goddamn mouth. You know what my ah. goddamn mouth has to say to you? <laughs> okay. Huh? Okay. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that. So I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder, cause it already looks like a fucking novel. <laughs> this conversation is over. <laughs> Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. Why are you doing this to me? Listen, I've had just about enough of your bitch. Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. <clears throat> Hi. How'd it go? Did he call you in to say that you've been a good boy? What? Do I sit? How do I check on him? Listen, I know you don't like me, but we're going to have to work together. We'll both have to make an effort. Now that we're partners, it would be great to get to know each other better. Is there a desk anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. Do 
Do you listen to Knights of the Black Death? I really like that music. It's <laughs> full of energy. You listen to heavy metal? Well, I don't really listen to music as such, but I'd like to. <laughs> you have a dog, right? How do you know that? The dog hairs on your chair. I like dogs. What's your dog's name? What's it to you? Sumo. <laughs> I call him Sumo. <laughs> He's a good boy. I don't think I should bring up anti-androids. You're a Detroit Gears fan, right? Dude, I'm like totally Denton profiling this guy to his face and he's a cop. From the three -point line yesterday. Did you see the game? <laughs> That's what I was watching at the bar last night. He's like, I just googled that. Oh. When we interrupted him. Hey. Oh, thank you. Shout out, my wife has brought me gamer fuel. Camera's out of focus, one sec. Come on, camera, work with me here. One sec. There we go. Uh... Have you known Captain Fowler for long? Yeah, too long. If you have any files on Deviants, I'd like to take a look at them. Terminals on your desk. Knock yourself out. <sighs> Disappearance of Gordon Lopez. The plaintiff reports that he left his android at home as usual when he went to work. When he returned, the android was nowhere to be found. No trace of a break-in in the apartment. The android may have left home without being ordered to. Charles Bell. Plaintiff claims to have been attacked by a 500 model android working as a waiter in the Fast Coney Dogs restaurant chain situated 842 Chamberlain Avenue. Plaintiff claims the android lunged at him unexpectedly and attempted to strangle the man before leaving the scene. The android remains at large. Sarah Cornwall. Plaintiff claims to have been attacked by her android, AP700. The android also trashed several rooms in the house before taking flight. Disappearance of Floyd Mills. Plaintiff, uh, manager of Eden Club. That was like a strip club or something, because we saw a flyer for that in the first guy's house. Reported at the unexplained disappearance of a Schmix android. The android disappeared after accompanying a customer to his home and never returned to the club. Leo Manfred, attempted murder, was found unconscious in the home of his father, Carl Manfred. The latter's witness statement uh, attests to an altercation between his son and the house android. The android is thought to be a prototype, unknown model and serial number, and was destroyed at the scene by attending officers. <laughs> no, he wasn't. Uh, victim Todd Williams. The victim's body was found by a friend who came to say hello. He immediately called the emergency number who recorded his death by gunshot wound. The murder weapon may have belonged to the victim. His android, an AX400, was not found at the scene and is the main suspect. Two hundred and forty-three files. First dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. An AX-400 is reported to have murdered a man last night. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. Look at these samples yet? Lab report says they can't. You shouldn't let your personal situation hamper the investigation, Lieutenant. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. So why don't you just run your program and shut the fuck up? I've been assigned this mission, Lieutenant. I didn't come here to wait until you feel like working. <laughs> Listen, asshole. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. I'm not Things are gonna get nasty. Sorry. Lieutenant, I'm sorry to disturb you, 
I have some information on the AX-400 that killed the guy last night. It's been sighted in the Ravendale district. I'm on it. Clearly he's got some baggage. Hank got a lead. <laughs> Hank is mad. Wait, looking at this chart, it looks like Hank gets mad no matter what. Is there no other option there? Hey, Hank just gets mad. That's just that's just what he does. Who's got that? I said baggage. Mark is. I gotta get her some food now. I think you have to feed humans. I'll say this game is probably the best game I've ever played for eating food while streaming. Because <laughs> I have to do very little. Explore the area and check the neighborhood. Nice, we can go full Half-Life. Death to androids. Oh, nice. Oh, no. Can we get any upgrades from him? Use the crowbar to open the trunk. Need tool. Gee, if only we saw it seen one recently. Expect that for mold first. Scissors to cut our hair. Accessing AX400 options, select new hair color. Uh, let's go complete opposite. We are an anime main character. Oh no! That just looks so painful! We're gonna wake up the girl, she's gonna scream, who are you? Cyber wildlife Detroit today. The plastic, it's fine. It still makes me cringe. <laughs> 